my channel. Have you ever wondered how water travels from the land to the sky and back again? Well, buckle up because we're about to dive in and explore the magic behind every drop. Let's go. Let's begin our journey with the sun shining over the ocean. The heat makes the water rise into the air as tiny droplets turning into invisible vapor. This process is called evaporation. Look at those happy little water droplets floating up to the sky. Now, as the water vapor rises higher, it cools down and turns into tiny water droplets again. These droplets gather together to form fluffy white clouds. This is called condensation. The clouds grow bigger and heavier as more water joins in, getting ready for the next step of the cycle. When the clouds are full of water, they cannot hold it anymore. The water falls back into the earth as rain, snow or hail. This is called precipitation. Watch as the raindrop gently fall to the ground, watering plants, filling rivers and making everything green and fresh. After the rain, the water flows down hills and mountains, gathering in rivers, lakes and ocean. Some water seeps into the ground, helping plants grow. This part of the cycle is called collection, where all the water gathers and waits for the sun to shine again. So the cycle can start all over. And that's the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. Round and round it goes. Water never stays in one place for long. Always moving and transforming. Remember, the water you drink today could have traveled through this cycle many times before. And that's the amazing journey of water cycle. From the clouds in the sky to the rivers and oceans, water is constantly moving, helping life on earth grow and thrive. Remember, every drop of water plays its part in this endless cycle. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more learning videos. See you next time.